welcome to the purple circuit and I have got a very special video for you today I was going through Mediafire and I found a very special world now I don't know if many of you remember this or or anything but I'm sure this brings a lot of memories back for what we used to do on on the purple circuit but if we look behind me now we have Uniash. Now this was the ticket series that we did, uh, myself and Aaron, we had some guests on, we had Paul come and join and actually uh, we've got a world of Paul's on here as well. Uh, as you can see I'm not in the stuff that we we used in, uh, in Uniash because of the simple fact that we didn't get that far but as you can see we've got our, all our stuff in here. We was uh, getting marble brick for the factory that we was going to build and uh, yeah We've got a product table, nothing in it. And if we go up here, we've got a storage area. Now, this, I, I was very lucky to find this. I thought I lost it, but I managed to find it. As you can see, it's private between me and Aaron, because this was our, our series that we was doing, and we thoroughly enjoyed making it, because this was our first proper mod pack that we actually uh, actually played and recorded on the channel. Um, I don't know if you remember this, but we actually had a quarry through here, uh, because... This is where James James came in and then he yeah he made this uh, quarry and got us started because he knew some stuff about the mod pack and yeah it was it was rather good uh, I think we've still got power actually if I'm not mistaken yeah we've still got power in our macerator as well as our extractor and we got this is where Paul came in and all our stuff private stuff when we started recording the episode we just put it all in there and then grab it out if we needed it. Uh, this is where the slime was. I don't know if you remember the slime, but Aaron's pet slime was in there, and then we got all our all our cave system, and oh, it was it was good. We got a mining turtle still here, just chilling out, doing nothing. It collected some stone and stuff, but yeah, we didn't really get far enough, far enough to uh, proceed. So, and we've got much more on the server. Uh, we've got my personal one, Aaron's personal one, and Paul's personal. Well, Paul's, he recorded his as well, actually, I think. So, as we uh, venture out here, yeah, actually, we got beds in here? No, we didn't actually manage to make beds, okay. Well, as we venture out, over here, I don't know if you remember what was over here. I certainly do. It was Uniash, the facility itself, where we was going to create bombs and weapons as our main franchise um franchise is that yeah i think it is um yeah so here we have uniash this is where we started uh making our square box tower which i don't think any of us really makes anymore uh, as we head inside it's just very white and marbly um as you can see we've got the offices should still be here. Yeah, the officers are still here. Um, obviously, we had officers on all floors apart from the top floor where it was uh, my office because I was indeed going to be the CEO and Aaron was going to be the owner, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, I was going to be the owner of this of this building and be the owner of mass destruction of weapons. And so we had our little seating area. I can't remember what his name was because I remember I let him out once and uh, Aaron got a bit mad, didn't he? Uh, yeah, we got a little seating area. A little bit missing, but and then we got a roof up top, which we fell off quite a lot. Um, and missing doors everywhere. So yeah, this is uh, Uniash here. I mean, if we open up the map, uh, we've still got... Mine and Aaron's place and Paul's place. My, me and Aaron built in the same area, but if we head over to Paul's place, which is just opposite this village here. Um, by the way, I could bring uh, fly because I've got swiftwards, which is not available in mod packs now. I don't know why, but yeah. So if we head over to Paul's place, have a look, see what he did around there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I was pretty excited when I found this one I thought I'd better record a video and show all of you of how 
how much uh, we proceeded. Really, on this world, we stopped because uh, we branched out to something different. I can't remember what we did. So, but we made quite a few episodes. Like, I think it's the longest series that we've done on this this channel. So, yeah, coming up to Paul's place now. I don't know if you've seen this in this episode, this over here, but it's basically a an empty building that we started to create. All of us came together and started creating this. And then I think we started to muck around. I think the team, Aaron and Paul, know what we was doing uh, in the sky. Um, I'm not going to say what it was. Um, so yeah, he's still got some power in here. He was uh, halfway through making stuff. But um, I was always on this server quite a lot, so I was quite big. I had everything pretty much. I was making free power and it was doubling stuff. What was I doubling? I know I had a couple of machines, so but yeah this is Paul's place. It's quite awesome. He had a pond over here. Oh it's still here, lily pads. I don't know if lily pads were in it when we started playing it. That's uni ash over there. So yeah. But if we head back to Aaron and Ash. We got Aaron's place and we got my place over here. So I think this world was created back in 2012, so that's two years ago now. I'm surprised it still works, it's not. Why can't we fly? What are we missing? Oh god, I don't know why it's not working. I don't have a clue, but let's carry on anyway. I'm pressing T, why are you... Okay, well let's talk. Oh, because we're in single player, of course. So here's Aaron's place. My place is just over the hill over there. Um, Aaron was going for the evil magic side, I think. So... Um, I'm not sure what Paul's going for because he wasn't on the server for so long. But yeah, this is Aaron's place. Magic Tower. I think I no, I didn't help him build this, did I? I don't think so. This was kind of like his storage in his mine area. I think that was all it was. Yeah, storage in his mine. Um, I don't think he had anything secret. And then up here. This was his area, and he uh, was very sneakily to put this iron door here, so he thought nobody can get in unless he had a button or a lever, but actually he uh, created this system here where when he's on the outside he just jumps down there, and then when he's on the inside he can just do this, which was pretty awesome at the time of when he did that of Minecraft, so yeah, still can't fly, um, let's see what stuff he had. Oh, he had uh, quite a few things. Not bad, not bad. As the sun comes up, world's not loading. Do you have anything interesting? Just loads of empty, empty areas. Yep, still loads of empty areas. Um. Oh yeah. That's Aaron's place, lava coming down the centre, the evil magic, I don't I I think it was evil magic he was going into, I'm not not hundred percent, it's a couple of years ago now, so but yeah. It was quite uh quite a long time ago now. As we carry on going down, open up the door again. Actually are we able to get out this way? We're not. Okay, very windy up here. Right, now let's go and see uh, my area. Now, I was on the server for the longest, like I've said, so I was kind of had most stuff, as we say. Um, and yeah, I was quite uh, quite powerful. Like, I wasn't interested in what stuff I had. 
I was more interested in the stuff that I was creating, like I didn't basically had basic iron armor. Actually no, I had quantum, didn't I? I had quantum armor, but it's gonna be iron, I don't know why. Yeah. Unless it's in the chest unless it's from um I think Aaron created it. No, I didn't. I think it's from the uh Uni Ash area I didn't swap over from since we last played. But this is my area, kind of boring and doors. At this point I was the only one with the quarry, so yeah. Um still got power, unbelievably. Still got power. Um but yeah. Um Well, I thought this, there was pipes here, oh there is pipes, they're just invisible. Alright, okay, that's broken. Uh, I had uh, a load, an absolutely load of, of solar panels, an absolutely shit ton of solar panels. So, yeah. What stuff did I get from the quarry? Oh, not, not a lot, but I was always emptying it. Uh, this was the first house that I built here. This was it. Um, we have our repair, so it repairs our swords when we put them in there. Um, we had the chest in here again, which was doing nothing, but had a little junk in it. Uh, we have the alloy furnace with the red alloy ingots. We have overclockers on all of our machines. On the extractor, the um, extract extractor, furnace, macerator, and the compressor. Uh, we had destruction cat. I'm not sure what that does, I can't remember. We had a bag. I remember using this bag actually. Okay, uh, still nothing in it. I always used to empty stuff from it. Uh, we had the charging bench and. Fee. Still got loads of storage because of all the solar panels that we've got. Still got energy condenser project table. But if we go upstairs, this was my storage. I remember naming these, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, but one had just like MISC stuff in it, and obviously we have machines in here. For some reason we had wooden axes, not quite sure. MISC, solar panels in here as well marble, buckets, dirt and gravel, cobblestone, transport pipes, gems, we had ore in here, cables and machines, wood, saplings, all of our food in here, redstone, now this one, we'll save that for last. What was that? Powders, bars, all the iron that we got was unbelievable. We had the, um, I think it was like the flower base module in it. When the sun beams on it, it collects loads of sources and basically it produces loads and loads of diamonds. So I had, lo at one point I had an extra slot of diamond, a uh, chest of diamonds on top because of how many we're producing from, as you can see, we see. Aaron's castle, I think he was going to make it more powerful than what I was, but I was quite powerful in the days of uh, when we played this. So yeah, and in here, I don't think... In here was, I had two machines each side, one was for blame blades, and one was for um, bone meal. And the way it does is this, you have machines here, and it, it macerates the bone meal, one bone into four, and you split it in two, and then you macerate that again and it basically you put it in the, the chest that produces things and it produces two bone meal produces a bone so what we was doing is it was technically doubling our bone supply and then obviously we can use that for making stuff with the energy that we're producing same as with the um, the blaze things so we were doubling the usage of stuff so we can create loads of free items technically from what we had um, 
but yeah, I think over here there's a little cave thing. Or did no, I must have backed up the world later than that. But yeah, this is our this is our world that we spent on quite a few times. This should all already be mined or if not close to the bottom. I'm not gonna risk it. I think it's already mined to be honest. I don't know why all that stuff's there spewing out everywhere but yeah I hope you enjoyed this uh, this little insight of what we did ages ago in the world of uh, tech it this is the classic tech it we played obviously we've got all the machines and stuff but yeah so this has been Fagash I hope you enjoy the server well it's kind of enjoy looking at what we did back then and I will see you next time. Bye.